musical? No, I'd love to be a musical. Oh my god, I'd love to be a musical, but I can't re Well, I can sing a wee bit, but I can sort of talk sing. Act sing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, he's so in a musical. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it well a little bit. I, I, I can sing a little bit. Okay. okay, here we go. <laughs> The Graham Norton Radio Show on Virgin Radio. Hey, Olivia Rodrigo, we're on the radio now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to explain what's going yes, on I here. See. I yeah. was wondering what was going Graham's on. Graham's shouting. Why is he shouting the word <laughs> Olivia at me? <laughs> Andrew Scott is with us. Andrew Scott is in the West End as we speak in Vanya. This is a new adaptation of the play Uncle Vanya. Uh, so Simon Stevens did this adaptation. Yeah. Uh, obviously, this is Virgin Radio. People are very au fait with Uncle Fania. Uh, <laughs> if if people aren't, if, if if a stupid person has stumbled into our demographic, um, yes. what, what should they know about Uncle Vanya and what makes this version so different? Well, Uncle Vanya is a, a, a Russian play uh, written by Anton Chekhov. And some people think that Anton Chekhov is a very, very serious, um, kind of depressing, let's face it, kind of writer. Um, uh, but this version of it uh, is a one-man version of this play about these people. There's nine characters in it and they all live on an estate and they're all um, some of them are in love with each other some of them are related to each other some of them are jealous of each other some of them um, want to leave some of them want to stay so I'm going to play all the, <laughs> all the characters selfishly that was the problem with that play wasn't <laughs> that was it the, exactly yeah. they all it lacked... was all the other people <laughs> uh, I can hear other voices <laughs> exactly. Uh... exactly stop stop let me <laughs> my turn my turn um, so um, so the play is kind of about lots of people thinking that their own particular pain their own particular plight is uh, very is unique to them and actually the play when we were reading the play what happened was the reason that we decided to do a one man version of it we the director and the writer of us were doing uh, were doing a, a workshop of it and because there weren't many of us we all had to play different parts and so I ended up because we misallocated the parts playing opposite myself and we were like oh god those characters are much more similar to each other than than you might have imagined then I played another part and then I played another part and then we were like oh well these characters like a lot of us were more similar to each other than than we might imagine so that's kind of the essence of why why why, why we're doing it and in tr- as a as a uh, an audience member yeah. what are we Seeing, I mean, I, you're not putting wigs on and things, are you? You're well, just, no, no, yeah. no, no, exactly. Well, it's like when you read a book. I've, this, this is how I describe it mostly: is that it's when you read a book, you imagine what the the, the, the person looks like. So you're able to to put on use your imagination much much more than than, than you might normally do in, in the theatre. So it's less about the way I look because obviously I'm playing people of all different ages and, and sexes and um, stages of life. So it's kind of the audience is incredibly engaged as to what. Um, they need to do so it's it's really theatrical in that sense you couldn't do it in any other sort of art form should and I'm this is a serious question yeah. should people gen up a bit before they not come to see it not at all not that's okay. the thing I've been saying to everybody somebody said that to me the other day I don't know Chekhov should I should I it's not it's really funny really sexy really mo- this is a real modern version of it it's in modern language it's an hour and 40 minutes there's no interval it's really it's about unrequited love it's incredibly modern he was Chekhov was a, a doctor so he saw all um um, uh, versions of life and he's a really compassionate really funny guy he was actually a sat- satirist he was a, he was a cartoonist and um, um, so uh, he's kind of been kidnapped Chekhov as this really sort of uh, yeah. serious kind of guy but there and were almost kind of there were elements of kind of farce in Vanya oh, as well absolutely yeah. there's absolutely farce in it and uh, it's really genuinely genuinely funny <laughs> it's sad too it's sad <laughs> yeah. like life like it, life Graham. It, it's sad and then and then it's funny and, <laughs> exactly. yeah. and it's then a roller say, coaster yeah. of emotion <laughs> yeah yeah and then I say this other thing and uh, <laughs> it's actually tell you everything yeah it's really good yeah. Um, uh, and for you as an actor because I always think acting is such a, sh- a social thing it's a yeah. lovely social thing so is it a bit Miz to kind of it walk is. off at the end to the sound of your own footsteps it, t- it, it, it is a little bit I do miss the other actors i got to say but you become there's a there, you become sort of I talk to the audience a little bit because it's in the play there are monologues in the play and so you become very aware of the audience and of course there's a huge big crew um, backstage but it's actually not on for too long we, we play now until the 21st of October and so I'm glad it's not too long a run because uh, I think I just miss uh, the, 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 other, the, other, the other people yeah, I, I can actors imagine. are fun, you know. <laughs> well, unless sort they're of. unless they're not, <laughs> unless they're absolutely not. <laughs> if uh, if 
when this is a huge success uh, <laughs> easy easy because uh, you you were in richmond for a yeah, little kind yeah, of trial little preview and is the idea that you will take this other places because presumably it's quite an easy thing to yeah, travel it's, it's, yeah it should be yeah we'll see how it goes down if people want to see want to see more of it yeah it is it's not it's nice i'd like to do it sort of um little and often i think because it's a, such a strange thing and being on your own is a bit weird but yeah i would like to travel with it yeah if, if people if people want me to yeah yeah and in terms of the doing of it i mean is it i mean i know it's not digging coal but yeah. are you absolutely knackered at the end of it i am I, I well no you come off and you have a real high but then for example we had our first preview in the west end last night and i woke up this morning and you wake up and you think i can't do that i can't do that again there's no way <laughs> so at the moment you wake up in the morning and you think oh, there's no way i'm gonna be able to do that now you feel really really nervous and then something weird happens to you during the day you kind of that's the you know you only in the theater you only work for two hours a night or whatever it is two and a half hours a night but the problem with theater is that you carry it with you all day the yeah. nerves you just carry it around like a little dog with you all day yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you could have let it, let it out to play in the evening so it's the nerves and thinking about it and blah 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 and eventually you get a bit more used to it but it does take an awful lot of your mental space and then of course physically it takes off a lot and then it's a really physical show and you know there's a lot there's a whole range of emotions in there so yeah it's knackering but I mean you get you get it's like a drug if you don't it's it's there's no high like it really and have you ever done that thing of filming in the day and then going to do I a have show? yeah Get, getting on What's it. that like? That must that's be horrific. Hor- yeah, that that's just terrible. terrific. Yeah. You just think, shut up! All you ever do is hear my own <laughs> voice all day, and then you jump on a on a motorbike taxi to get you from the set to the theatre, and then I mean, you get it. There's a, there's, a, there's a kind of fun thing, and you're always, as you know, as an actor, you're delighted to be working. But no, that's a horrific thing to do. Yeah, no, I mean that's that's yeah. it's too much fun. It's yeah. too much fun. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. enough. Detroit. Now. Yeah. True. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, in terms of, because um, now obviously you can't talk about your TV stuff and, no. and your filming stuff, yeah. but you are going to be starring as Tom Ripley in an eight part TV adaptation of The Talent Mr. Ripley on Netflix. I, there, I, I said it. I said it. Andrew said nothing about that. He, he didn't want you to know. And, uh, and you're also in uh, All of Us Strangers, uh, the new uh, Andrew Hay film, which comes out uh, in the 26th of January with Claire Foy and uh, Paul Meskell. Is all of that correct? It's correct. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's correct information. Yeah. That's I mean, correct information. It is very strange. It's a strange the, the, time. Yeah, which yeah. Right. I, mean, I mean, the fight is worth fighting for. No, it's definitely a strange time. And aren't you lucky to be in a play? I'm very lucky to be was in a play. Was this always the plan? This was always the plan, yeah. It was always the plan. So it was very fortuitous, i got to say. So I feel very grateful to be to be working and to be able to tell you that it's on. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and after this, he's making a documentary. <laughs> And uh, possibly a book, possibly maybe a, book. Maybe a book, maybe yeah. a book, and that album you've always <laughs> wanted album. to do. That difficult first album. <laughs> <laughs> the guitar lessons—they start now. No, I will not inflict you <laughs> with that. Have you ever been in a musical? No, I'd love to be in a musical. Oh my god, I'd love to be in a musical, but I can't re. Well, I can sing a wee bit, but I can sort of talk, sing, act, sing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, he's so into musical. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it well a little bit. I, I, I can sing a little. Okay, okay here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's a keyboard. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least not a guitar. I won't give you a guitar. <laughs> no, please don't no, do no, that. Don't please do that. don't do that. Uh, Vanya is the name of the show. It is at the Duke of York Theatre until the 21st of October. Uh, tickets can be found at vanyaonstage.com. Yeah. Uh, sir, thank you so much for thank coming in. Thank you so much, Greg. Gorgeous to see you. Uh, lovely to see you. Yeah, and come along. Good luck. And see us. I'll be there on Thursday. Great. No. Great, great, yeah. great. No, great. I said yes, so I'm good, going. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. You'll have fun. I promise you. You'll have and you fun. haven't put me off. I haven't. I mean, no. I'm, you've well, you've listened. That's you've encouraged the, the game. I feel. I feel more excited <laughs> having talked to you. Even more excited. Even more excited than I was. <laughs> yeah. Because this morning I thought, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm I, this. I, I, I wait till I hear. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll he wait till I hear what he says. And so good. I give you the go. Yeah, yeah. You did a good job. You did a good job. I'll see you on Thursday, and hopefully, lots of Virgin listeners will as well. Thanks for coming. Thanks so much, Graham.